हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई अपलोड वीडियोस ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी आई वाज टीचिंग इन फाइनाइट सीरीज वेयर आई अपलोडेड अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली द रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंड वेन एवर वी आर गिवन एनी इनफाइनाइट सीरीज देन दैट सीरीज इज कन्वर्जेंट इन विच डोमेन विच सिंपली मीन्स वॉट इज द रेंज ऑफ दैट सीरीज ऑन विच इट कन्वर्जेस we will find it out here and this is what we call the radius of convergence so it is a very good topic and i am going to tell you many concepts here so if we talk about the power series then this is how it goes a 0 plus a1x minus c plus e2x minus c whole square and so on we have this type of an infinite power series but here the c is the origin now if this c becomes zero then in that case the power series will be of this type for example if i discuss about having an infinite series as 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube okay whenever we are given this kind of infinite series then here what is the origin in this power series we will get the origin zero here okay however if we have a series of this type like here i am writing 2x minus 1 plus 3 x minus 1 whole square plus 4 x minus 1 whole cube we get it like this here what do we get we get the origin of this as 1 i will try to explain it by giving you some examples right this is an example of an infinite series this is also an example now i will try to explain what exactly the radius is through this given example so whenever we are given any infinite series whether it is convergent and if that series is convergent then what is its range here either we have a series which is convergent throughout the entire real numbers then in that case we will consider that its radius will be convergent and what will be its radius of convergence it will be infinite however there are some infinite series like in some of the infinite series when we have the x term for example like i was telling you before that i have uploaded a lot of videos on the infinite series where i had explained that we have 1 upon n square where n is equal to 1 tends to infinity so this is an infinite series so students it will be either convergent or divergent right and this series is convergent here and suppose if we get this like x to the power n here if we get this so in this case its convergence will depend on the x that on what value of x whether it is convergent or not so this x here what is the range of x here for what value will x make this series as convergent so that value which we will get it shows us the radius of convergence that for these particular values x will be it will be convergent normally in such questions we have an answer in interval format for these values and the radius of this interval which we will get is what we call as radius of convergence we will be studying it here now the question is how do we actually find the radius of convergence if we have any infinite series then its radius of convergence is 1 upon r limit n tends to infinity an plus 1 upon an so limit n tends to infinity an power 1 by and this is the delembert ratio formula and this is the cauchy root test and we can use both to find it now the question might arise which formula to apply this one or this one so whenever we are given any infinite series where the power of the term is given in n then in that type of series we apply the cauchy ratio test if we have the factorial form given here or the factor form then in that case we apply this formula as soon as we apply the test in the infinite series so we know when to apply the cauchy root test and when to apply the delembert ratio test i have already taught this if you haven't seen it you can go to itab and take a look it will give you an idea that when do we apply the formula now i want to tell you one more thing that suppose we have a power series and we are getting its radius as r so what can we observe here this shows that this series the series we have it will be convergent if the value of modulus of x is less than r and it will be divergent if modulus of x is greater than r but we will have to check by solving if it is convergent or not at value of modulus equals to r you will have to put the value and then you can find out if that infinite series is convergent or not on that particular value right students i will try to explain using some examples let's say we are given summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 divided by 2 power n x power n you need to find out that at what point of x will this series be convergent for that you need to calculate the radius of convergence here right so what is the value of n we will get here we will get 1 upon 2n right 1 upon 2 raised to the power n right we will write 1 upon r and we know if there is power so cauchy root test will be applied here so it will be limit n tends to infinity an power 1 upon n 
So this will be limit n tends to infinity. This will be 1 by 2 to the power n to power 1 by n. So on solving, we will get its value 1 by 2. Now what will be the value of r? It will be 2, right? So what will be the radius of convergence? It will be 2. Then what does this mean? It means that this series will be convergent. But when will this series be convergent? When the modulus of x is less than 2. So what will it be here? It will be convergent, right? So here we will get convergent. And when will we get this as divergent? When the value of mod x will be greater than 2. Then we will get the value as divergent, right? Now you will be wondering if I expand this here, then what will be the range of its value? It will be from minus 2 to positive 2, right? But you might be thinking, what if I take x equals to minus 2? Or if I put x is equal to 2, what will we get on putting these values? So in that case, you will have to manually put it. And look if I put 2 in place of x. So what will we have? 2 to the power n by 2 to the power n. So the terms will be cancelled out. It will be n is equal to 1 tends to infinity and we will get this one. And this is our constant in finite series which is divergent. So for this value of x, we will get it divergent. We need to pay attention to this. If we put x equal to minus 2 here, so it will be minus 2 power n upon 2 power n, then we will cancel it. So we will get minus 1 power n here. And this minus 1 power n is also not convergent. So at this point also, this will be divergent, right? This means that at this value, it will be convergent. Now if I write it in interval form, then what it will be for range that is from minus 2 to 2, it will be convergent. And what we will get at all the remaining points? It will be divergent on all the other points. Okay. Now the question is changing by a bit. For instance, if a slightly small change is made in this question given here, I will show what I am talking about. Suppose if it is given like this, look here I will write. Let me erase it. If this given question is changed and we get this question like this. Summation n equals to 1 tends to infinity. 1 upon 2 raised to power n. And we write it as x minus 1 raised to power n. Now for instance, if this question was given like this and you are asked, now what will be its radius of convergence? You need not worry. Till here it will be solved by the same process, just this x which is here will be changed. You will have to change this x and what you should take here in place of x because here it is x minus 1 in this question which is different from the question given earlier. So you will have to take x minus 1. This will be mod x minus 1 is less than equal to and what it will be on mod x minus 1 greater than 2. It will be divergent. Clear? And I want to show you guys what we will get on simplifying it here. Let me erase this first. So, what will we get as its value? When we will solve it, we will get x minus 1 here and this will be minus 2. So, what you have to do now, just add 1 in all the three terms. So, this will be minus 1, this will become x and on adding 1 here, this will become 3. Now, we will put x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 3. So, on these values, again, this series will come divergent here. If we put minus 1, then it will be minus 2 power n. Minus 2 will be cancelled with 2. It will not be convergent. If we put 3 here, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 to the power n gets cancelled with 2 to the power n again. It is again constant. So students, it will not be convergent on equal values. So the interval of convergence will be from minus 1 to 3 and this will be open interval. And at the other points, it will be divergent. So here we will get this equal sign, right? So we can solve it like this. Now you might wonder, for example, if we get this question, right? Now listen to me here. I am again changing the question here. If we get the question like this, n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 upon 2 power n, x raised to the power 3n. We get x to the power 3n, right? In that case, what will be the radius of convergence? Well, you don't need to worry. We will do exactly same till here. However, you need to keep in mind that x is raised to the power 3n. So here, what will be the value of power? It will be 3. This will become our cube here. So we will get our cube. What will be the value of r? It will be 2 to the power 1 by 3. Look here, students, since the power of x is 3n, right? So this will be 1 upon our cube. If the power of x was 2n, then it would be 1 upon our square. If the power of x was 4n, then it would have been 1 upon r to the power 4. We have got the value of radius of convergence as 2. But we need to find r. So here it is power 1 by 3. So the radius of convergence will be 2 to the power 1 by 3. If we look at the radius that where will it be convergent? It will be on modulus of x is less than 2 power 1 by 3. So it will be convergent at this value. And when will it be divergent? When value of mod x is greater than 2 power 1 by 3. You can check what it will be on equal values. In this way, we can solve this. I will take some more questions. Here we are asked to find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence. Now we need to pay attention to the fact that the value of a n is n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3. We know that the formula of 1 upon r here, it will be limit n tends to infinity. So if we will apply the D'Alembert ratio test, it will give us a n plus 1 upon a n, right? And if we will simplify this. So the value we will get will be limit n tends to infinity. 
n plus 1. So, students here we will get n plus 2, n plus 3 and n plus 4 and upon dividing. In the denominator, the value of n will be n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3, right? And this limit here is applicable to the whole term, right? If we solve this, we will get limit n tends to infinity. Let's simplify it by reversing it by doing its reciprocal. It will go in numerator and this n plus 3 is cancelled out. So, guys, we will get n plus 2 whole square upon n plus 1 into n plus 4 on simplifying it. Now, we will take this n common here. So, this will be limit n tends to infinity. This will be n square 1 plus 2 by n. So, students here also, we will get n common. 1 plus 1 by n and 1 plus 4 by n. When we will take limit n tends to infinite then, it is 0, this is 0, this is 0. n square and n square cancelled out. From here, how much will we get as its value? It will be 1. So, the radius that we will get is 1 upon r. We will get that as 1, right? And we will get the value of r equals to 1. So, we can observe that we will get it convergent at value of mod x less than 1, right? Look, this is convergent here. Am I clear? And tell me when this will be divergent. It will be divergent when we will get mod x greater than 1. But we will have to check what is its behavior at 1. When we will expand the interval here, we will get its value as minus 1 and 1 from here. So, we get minus 1 as value of x. So, we will put minus 1 in place of x for once and we will also put 1 in place of x. When we will put minus 1 in place of x. So, what will be the series which we will get? The series we will get is n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3 minus 1 to the power n. And we know that this is an alternating series and whenever we want to check its convergence, we apply the Leibniz theorem. So, one thing is that this is monotonically decreasing and another thing is when limit n tends to infinity, this becomes 0 because the power of n in denominator is greater. But the power of n in numerator is less when you will take n common. And if we will check n tends to infinite, it will become 0 which means by Leibniz theorem, what will be this alternating series? It will be convergent which means at minus 1 it will be convergent. Now, we need to check if this will be convergent on x equals to 1 or not. So, let me make some changes in this series here. Then this series that we will get, it will be n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3. And if I assume this as un here, then it will become n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3. Then I will take vn here and solve it with the comparison test. If I remove the constant, it will be n upon n square. If we remove 2, 3, 1, this will also be the same. We will cancel it out. We assume that we will get vn as 1 upon n. If you haven't watched the comparison test yet, you can check on i tab. What are we going to do now? Limit n tends to infinity we will find the un upon vn. So, the value that we get will be finite value. So, when you divide it, the n will go to the numerator. So, we will get n square in numerator and denominator. If we take out the n square common and cancel it, the value will be finite, which means that the behavior of both of them will be the same and we know that this series is divergent. On x is equals to 1, it will be divergent, which means it is divergent at 1 and convergent at minus 1. So, what is the interval of convergence here? Well, at minus 1, it will be convergent. However, it won't be convergent at 1. So, if I write down the interval, it will be a closed interval here and we will have an open interval here, right? So, you need to understand this. If someone asks you at which point will it be divergent? So, it will be divergent from minus infinity to minus 1. Union, it will be closed interval and here from 1 to infinity. So, you need to pay attention to this, okay? Is it clear? Next. Here we are asked to find the radius of convergence of the series. So, what is a n here? It is n factorial upon n raised to the power n, right? So, here we can apply any of the two tests, but we will apply the D'Alembert ratio test. So, 1 upon r limit, n tends to infinity. We will take a n plus 1 upon a n. So, this will be limit n tends to infinity. Then we will get n plus 1 factorial upon n plus 1 to the power n plus 1. Upon in the numerator, it will be n factorial by n to the power n. Now, we will simplify this here. This is the value we have at these places, right? If we simplify this, it will be 1 upon r. This will be limit. n tends to infinity. Students, let's open this. n plus 1 factorial. It will be n plus 1 into n factorial, right? And let's reverse this n power n and bring it to the top. This goes up here and comes here. And when we open this, we will get n plus 1 power n into n plus 1. And this is n factorial. So, n factorial cancels out by n factorial. n plus 1 cancels out with n plus 1. So, we get 1 upon r. Limit n tends to infinity. n to the power n is left. And we have this here. We can take out n common from here. So, it will be 1 plus 1 upon 1 to the power whole n. n power n will be cancelled out. When we will put n tends to infinity, then what will be its value? 1 by e. 
So, what will be the radius of convergence? It will be E. We have calculated the radius here and if you are asked about the interval, how will you find the interval? So, in this series, it will be convergent on mod x plus 2 is less than E and mod x plus 2 greater than E, what will we get here? This will be divergent. So, on this, what will it become? It will be divergent and you need to remember when it will be convergent, right? And apart from this, you can calculate the specific value and check out. So, you can find out the value by putting it to equal. That is not asked and since we only have to find the radius. So, we will only do that right. Moving further. In next question, we have been asked to find the radius of convergence of this series. So, we have the value of summation. n equals 1 tends to infinity. It will be n square x power n minus 1. So, if you look here, then we will get the un here, n square and we will apply the D'Alembert ratio test on the radius of convergence. So, limit n tends to infinity, we will get un plus 1 upon un. You can take an also. There is no need to stick to un or vn. It does not matter whatever you take. It will be n plus 1 square divided by n square. It will be 1 upon r. Limit n tends to infinity. We will take out n common from here. This will be n square 1 upon n upon n square. This will be cancelled out. Its value will be 1 on n tends to infinity. So, the radius we will get will be 1. Since we are asked till this much, so the question ends here. Okay? Still, if you want that, I should explain a little more. So, we will check when will this be convergent, right? This will be convergent when mod x will be less than 1 because x is given. And when will it be divergent? When we will get mod x is greater than 1, then it will be divergent. Okay, students, is this clear? Now, what is the value of mod x? So, we know it is from minus 1 to 1. Now, you have to check what will we get when the value of x is minus 1 and 1. So, we will check first the value of x equal to minus 1. So, the series we will get will be n equals to 1 tends to infinity n square minus 1 to the power n minus 1 and x at 1 will be n equals to 1 to infinity. It will be n square. So, this is an alternating series. When we will put n tends to infinity at Leibniz theorem, it will be infinite which does not satisfy the theorem. So, this is divergent and n square will be divergent because this does not satisfy the necessary condition. It is also becoming infinite at n tends to infinity while it should be 0. So, it will not be convergent at 1 and minus 1. So, if we talk about reason of convergence or interval of convergence, it would be from minus 1 to 1 here, we will get equal here. So, we will get this as divergent for these points. So, this is how we solve this question. And now, look at the next question. If we have a series given like this, where you are given that n is equal to 1 to infinity, a n. x power n, where we are given a n like this. We have an infinite series, n is equal to 1 tends to infinity. a n x power n series is of this type. If they ask you to find its radius, I want to tell you that I have covered this topic in complex analysis. This comes in complex as well as in real, right? If you have not yet watched the video on complex, you can check out the video on iTab. When a n is given like this and when n is given odd. So, when n is odd and when n is even. In both the cases, what we will do? We find its radius, right? So, when n is odd, the formula will be limit n tends to infinity. This will be a n power 1 by n and this will be 1 upon r. So, here it will be limit n tends to infinity. 1 by 4 power n to the whole power 1 by n. So, here it will be 1 by r is equal to 1 by 4. So, the value of r will be 4. I think I should write r 1 here, that will be better. When we will have n as odd, then in that case we will find out r 2, right? So, this will be limit n tends to infinity, a n power 1 by n. So, it will be 1 upon r 2 is equal to limit n tends to infinity. This will be 1 by 3 power n raised to the whole power 1 by n. So, 1 upon r 2 will be equal to 1 by 3. So, what will be the value of r 2? it will be 3. Now, you have to check here that its radius of convergence will be 3 or 4. The radius of convergence will be r is equal to minimum of r1 and r2, right? So, the minimum of the two will be our answer. So, here we will write both 4 and 3 and it is obvious that the minimum mod value between the two will be 3. So, what will we get as the radius of convergence? It will be 3. So, we can easily solve it in this way. Now, here is the question for comment box. How many seconds did it take you to solve them? Please comment and let me know. If you want to see more videos on these kind of infinite series, then you will find the entire playlist here if you are preparing for CSIR, NetGate and IIT Jam. If you are looking to improve your short tricks, you will find it here and you can watch all the videos. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you to all of you. Bye.